Hello everyone, welcome to Inspire Mathematics classes. In the last video, I have discussed question number 1, question number 2 and question number 3. Now, I will start to solve question number 4. Question number 4 is limit extends to A. Limit extends to A under root of A plus 2x minus 3x under root of 3a plus x to under root of x this will be the this is also in the last course last video i have discussed this will be the double rationalization rationalizing of numerator and rationalizing of denominator so multiply a plus b because here a minus b and here b so formula is for square minus b square you multiply a plus b in the numerator and denominator both. So this will be a plus 2x minus under root of 3x and under root of a plus 2x plus under root of 3x. And this will be under root of 3a plus x minus 2 under root of x and this will be under root of 3a plus x plus 2 under root of x and this is under root of 3a plus x plus 2 under root of x and this is under root of a plus 2x plus under root of 3x now this is this will be a square minus b square this is a and this is b so square minus b square after square minus b square a plus 2x minus 3x and in the denominator 3x 3a plus x minus 4x and putting the value of x say here not here because this will be cancelled this is a minus x and this is also 3 common 3a minus 3x so 3 common a minus x this is will be same and this is a minus x and this is 3 common a minus x and now put this will be cancelled because x tends to a not x not equal to a so this will be cancelled and put the value of a here and this will be 3a plus a plus 2a and this is a plus 2a plus under root of 3a and this is 1 upon 3 this is 4a that is 2 root a plus 2 root a upon 2 root 3a and this will be 4 root a 6 root 3 root a root a root a cancel and this will be 2 upon 3 root a this is the answer so okay so if option having this question then this is the correct option okay now question number six question sorry question number five this is the question question number five is limit h tends to zero question number five limit h tends to zero one upon h under root of x plus h minus under root of x this is the question and this is limit h tends to 0 1 upon h this if you put h 0 here then this will be infinity minus infinity form this is 1 upon x plus h no no this is not infinity minus infinity form this is the this in if this harm problems this type of then this will be the lcm Okay, LCM of the denominator and this is under root of x plus h and under root of x and this will be under root of x under root of x plus h. And now the rationalizing of the numerator before that. Okay. If you put the rationalization of the numerator, then automatically will be come answer. In the, this is the double rationalization like this, like this, or this type of problems, like this, or like this. The sign of the numerator, so you see this will be also the sign of the numerator. So in numerator multiply under root x plus under root of x plus h in denominator under root x plus under root of x h. Then this will be the answer. Okay. Now a concept, another concept. Concept factorizing method. When a question is given in quadratic or cubic point numeral then try to factorize and cut or you can say cancelled 
the same quantity numerator and denominator like this question let discuss a question question number question limit x tends to to x square minus 3x plus 2 and in the denominator x square minus 5x plus 6 if you put x equals to 2 here in the numerator then this will be 0 and to put in the denominator this will be 0 0 by 0 so you know if you put x to in the numerator then this, that is you can say x minus 2 in the factor of the numerator because you have discussed in the class 9 10 level j if this is the polynomial second degree polynomial the x minus in the polynomial if any polynomial have x minus alpha is a factor then alpha is the satisfy of this root other root so limit x tends to 2 and x minus 2 is the factor because x if we put x equal to 2 in the numerator then this will be the value 0 in the numerator and denominator both will be 0 so x minus 2 is a factor so x minus 2 Pahle say you put here you can put because you know x minus 2 is a factor so if x minus 2 is a factor and then the other factor is what will be now this is 2 so x 1 plus 2 this will be minus 1 minus minus plus 2 and this x square minus 2x minus 3x and this is also 6 so this is this will be 3 2 3 6 and this is plus so minus so this will be must be minus 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 plus minus 2x minus 3x minus 5x so this is the factor you can factorization method otherwise you can also x minus 2 x square minus 3x plus 2 is divided by x minus 2 then you will come x plus x minus 1 this will be x minus 1 see in the similarly if you divide x minus 2 in the denominator x square minus 5x plus c then you will get x minus 3 so x minus 2 x minus 2 is cancel you can cancel because x not equal to 2 x tends to 2 so you automatically cancel because x not equal to 2 if x equal to 2 then it is 0 by 0 you cannot cancel but this is not the x equal to 2 so you will be cancelled now put 2 then this will be the minus 1 upon 1 that is minus 1 is the answer this is the factorization method okay now next Students, Mac, Bad Batana Chata Hum. If you not subscribe this channel, then I request you must subscribe the channel and click bell icon because more more important and chance to be common in your exam. This type of questions coming soon for next video. Next video. And so to get the solution, please subscribe and click bell icon. And if you like that trick, press like button and share your friends for knowledge. And if you have any mind in your mind about trick, then please mention in comment. Okay, next question number six. Question number six is limit x tends to 2a under root of x minus 2a plus under root of x minus under root of 2a under root of x square minus 4a square. This is the question. Carefully observe this question. You assume this this is the very hard hard question, hard question but if we put x equal to 2 in the numerator that is 2 minus 2a minus 2 is 0 this is root 2a root 2 is 0 and this also be 4 a square so this is 0 upon 0 form so you can solve this is very easy because if you factorize in the under root in denominator then this is x minus 2x plus 2a so this is the factor x minus 2 and x plus 2a and this is x minus 2a and this is root x minus 
रूट टू ए ओके नाउ दिस विल बी यू नो ए माइनस बी रूट ए माइनस रूट रूट बी यू कैन से दिस इज ए माइनस बी अंडर रूट ऑफ रूट ए प्लस रूट बी बिकॉज ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर इज ए माइनस बी रूट ए स्क्वायर माइनस रूट बी ए माइनस रूट ए माइनस रूट बी दिस सो यू कैन से अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स माइनस टू ए एंड दिस विल बी इफ यू कॉमन टेक अंडर रूट एक्स माइनस टू ए कॉमन देन दिस इज वन प्लस अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स माइनस अंडर रूट ऑफ टू ए एंड दिस विज दिस विल बी अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स प्लस टू ए नो नो दिस इज द थोड़ा डिफाइंड वे यू कैन टेक इन दिस वे ऑल्सो भी करेक्ट बट लेट इन दिस प्रोसेस एप्लाई देन एक्स माइनस टू ए प्लस दिस विल बी रूट ए माइनस रूट बी इज ए माइनस बी सो दिस विल बी एक्स माइनस टू ए अपॉन अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स प्लस अंडर रूट ऑफ टू ए एंड अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स माइनस टू ए अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स प्लस टू ए बिकॉज दिस इज ए माइनस बी अपॉन अंडर रूट ऑफ ए प्लस बी सो दिस विल बी दिस विल बी रूट एक्स इज ए एंड रूट टू एच बी सो ए माइनस बी बाई ए प्लस बी नाउ टेक कॉमन अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स माइनस टू ए नाउ इफ यू टेक कॉमन अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स माइनस टू ए देन दिस विल बी एक्स माइनस टू ए वन प्लस अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स माइनस टू ए अंडर रूट ऑफ रूट एक्स प्लस अंडर रूट ऑफ टू ए एंड द डिनोमीटर अंडर रूट ऑफ टू ए हैविंग एन अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स प्लस टू ए एंड दिस विल बी कैंसल सो नाउ पुट एक्स टू कल टू टू ए एंड दिस विल बी जीरो अपॉन दिस दैट इज जीरो जीरो समथिंग जीरो अपॉन समथिंग इज जीरो यू नो एंड दिस इज जीरो प्लस टू ए सो दिस विल बी वन अपॉन अंडर रूट ऑफ एंड दिस विल बी सॉरी एक्स प्लस एक्स प्लस टू ए देन दिस इज टू ए प्लस टू ए एंड दिस विल बी फोर ए दैट इज वन अपॉन वन अपॉन टू अंडर रूट ऑफ ए ओके टू ए प्लस टू ए फोर ए वन अपॉन अंडर रूट फोर ए एंड दिस इज टू ए सो दिस विल बी द एंसर दिस विल बी द एंसर वन अपॉन टू अंडर रूट ए नाउ एल लॉपिटल रूल लॉपिटल रूल व्हाट इज लॉपिटल रूल दिस इज एक्चुअली लॉपिटल रूल बल बट आई एम यू कैन राइट एल हॉस्पिटल रूल दिस इज द फ्रेंच वर्ड सो हॉस हॉस का नहीं आता इसी है लॉपिटल रूल बोलता है जैसा इफ यू लॉपिटल रूल का क्या रूल है लिमिट दिस लिमिट इफ यू अप्लाई लॉपिटल रूल बिकॉज दिस इज दिस इज जीरो अपॉन जीरो फॉर्म सो इफ दिस इज जीरो अपॉन जीरो फॉर्म जीरो बाई जीरो फॉर्म so any function limit extends to a at the point a then any function f x and in the denominator g x then according to the lopital rule derivative of the numerator and derivative of the denominator at that point if putting the a here then if zero upon zero form zero by zero form then If zero by zero form infinity by infinity infinity form in determinant form, then you can apply Elage rule. Or in short, this co Elage rule be bolta hai Elage rule. Okay, Elage rule. So derivative of numerator and derivative of denominator. So since this is zero by zero form, so derivative of this will be one upon two under root of x minus two a. And डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एक्स माइनस टू ए इज वन चेन रूल एंड रूट एक्स का डेरिवेटिव वन अपॉन टू रूट एक्स डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस कॉन्स्टेंट इज जीरो एंड डेरिवेटिव ऑफ दिस रूट एक्स वन अपॉन टू 
under root of x square minus 4 x square and in the under root x square minus 4 so derivative of this is 2x and minus 0 and after simplification this will be root x plus under root of x minus 2 upon 2 under root of x under root of x minus 2a and x upon under root of x minus 2a under root of x plus 2a and this will be cancelled and this is this will be now root x plus 2a and this will be root a plus a minus 2a this is 2a sorry this is 2a because here the limit extends to 2a so this will be 2a this will be 2a and this will be 2a so this is 0 and so this is 2a and 2 under root 2a here put it put 2a and this is 2a plus 2a that is 4a and this will be root 2a and this is root 2a root 2 is cancelled so 2 2a and this will be 2 root a and this will be 2 2 is cancelled and this is root a root a is a root a root a is a, a is cancelled and this will be 1 upon this is cancelled so this will be not the so this is 1 upon 2 2 is cancelled and this is 2 under root a so this is the answer 1 upon this is the answer root 2 a root 2 is cancelled so 2 to 4 half and a under root a that is root a 1 upon 2 root a this is the answer this is the eligible law pital rule this is the law pital rule okay actually is the law pital rule is very easy agar koi algebraic function or koi function when 0 by 0 or infinite by infinity form hota hai so you can eligible rule but this L'Hopital rule now Solve of this question will be up to this question number six. So this is much for today. So continuing the, the solving question number seven eight. Please watch my next video. In the next video, I will be solve question number seven, question number eight, and another topics binomial approximation. Binomial approximation B binomial approximation is very very important. To shortcut tricks, short tricky with the ऐसा tricky question का देखने आंसर आ जाएगा। तो बहुत important है। Next video, please भूलना मत। Keep watching my next video. Have a good day.